Hello, welcome to this quick little video on problem 5 from module 5. So let's read the problem. In a clinical trial of a vaccine, 12,000 children were randomly divided into two groups. The subjects in group 1 were given the vaccine and the subjects in group 2 were not. So we've got an experimental group, those receiving the treatment, and we have a control group, those not receiving the treatment. Of the 6,000 in the experimental group, 80 developed the disease. Of the 6,000 in the control group, 102 developed the the disease. Okay, so the proportion of those developing the disease in the experimental group is 80 over 6,000. The proportion of those developing the disease in the control group is 102 over 6,000. So the question really comes down to is, was there a difference? So the question is, determine whether the proportion of subjects in the experimental group who contracted the disease, so it's proportion, is less so the alternative is going to be P1 less than P2 at the point 0.1 level. So this should be the correct answer. There we go. Determine the test statistic. To determine the test statistic, let's go into StatCrunch, because it's always better to have the computer do the calculations instead of me, because I have tr trouble poking buttons on a calculator, apparently. So let's bring in StatCrunch. And notice this is the new stack crunch. I still have trouble with my Java. This is a two sample proportions test. We know that because we're comparing proportions from two samples. So let's go into stat, proportion stats, because we're dealing with proportions, two sample. And we don't have the data, but we do have summaries of the data. So we'll click on with summary. So sample one, there were 80 successes out of 6,000. 80 out of 6,000. Sample two, there were 102 successes over 6,000. Our null hypothesis is equality. As always, our, our alternative is P1 is less than P2 which, writing in this way, P1 minus P2 has to be less than 0. And let's compute. Here's the output. Gives us the summary that we gave it, just to double check that we put the numbers in right, 80 and 6,000, 102 and 6,000. The sample difference is the proportion in population 1 that got it minus the proportion of population 2. There's a standard error. We're dividing that by the square root of the sample size. There's the z statistic, negative 1.64. Two decimal places, negative 1.64. Well done. P-value, 0.0502. and the interpretation. Computers should do the calculations. We need to do the interpretations. So let's read through these four and see which ones are reasonable. Reject the null hypothesis because there's sufficient evidence to conclude that the proportion of subjects in the experimental group is less than proportion at the alpha equals 0 0.01 level. P is less than alpha. That means we reject the null hypothesis. So A makes sense. So let's put it there for just now. Do not reject the null hypothesis. No, that's not correct. We do reject. Reject the null hypothesis because there's not sufficient evidence. No, 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 no. We only reject if there is sufficient evidence. So C is not right. And again, D says do not reject the null. So D can't be right. A is the correct answer. Boom. And so the key here was to use StatCrunch to your advantage to make sure that this was indeed a two sample proportions test that you used. And to get there, you went into stat, proportion stat, two sample, and with summary. And then you check the answers that were appropriate for the problem that was given to you, or check the options that were appropriate. Hopefully, this was helpful. Take care of yourself. Talk to you later.